In this video, I want to show you 10 of my favorite AI generated artworks from this week and give you a glimpse of how to use this amazing website, lexica.art. Here are some of the images I've selected for this week. And there are an incredible range of images, as you can see, that we're going to look into. I'm not just gonna describe the images, I'm gonna show you their variants and show you how you can use the website to find your own image and find your own variant, and even to create an image from scratch. Let's start with the first image that I selected. On the left, you can see the prompt that the person has written in to generate these images. And what I found very interesting about this particular style was the realism of Dwayne Johnson here. I'm gonna look through some of these variants and some of them you'll notice are particularly realistic. Not this one perhaps, it's fairly good. Notice the slight asymmetry between the eyes though. It's not quite realistic. This one was my favorite. Look at the stubble, look at the eyes, the symmetry it looks incredibly realistic. You might say some of the stubble is a bit too uniform to be Super realistic, but an incredibly good job. Here are some of the other variants. And you can see overall an incredible job here by Stable Diffusion, the AI art generator. Some slight asymmetry again, that's what it finds really hard, the eyes. This of course is a bit of a caricature with the head. But overall, not bad. Now I'm gonna show you something that we can do here we can actually generate our own variants of this image. So for example, we can go to generate here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly tweak it. And I'm gonna write clear portrait of Dwayne Johnson smiling. And then I'm gonna press generate. And then what's gonna happen is that we're gonna wait for only maybe 20 seconds or so and then we get four additional generations of this image with our own edit attached to them. So hopefully, if this works, it'll be a very similar style, so still full body, still art station, still concept art, but this time with him smiling. And as you can see, we have four pretty good images here, particularly the one on the left, I would say. This one is not bad at all, but now he's smiling. And that's what we can do with any of these images. And honestly, I find that quite incredible. Take note of a few of the prompts that we can see here on the left, because you'll see them recurring as we go through this curated selection. The next one I picked out was this futuristic version of Marrakesh in Morocco. The reason I picked it out, I'm gonna look through it, is because of the fidelity to the city itself. So not so much in this variant, but look at the architectural style, the minaret here. It really holds true to Marrakesh. The domes here, the palm trees, and the trees are really well done. Often AI struggles with trees. Look here, it didn't do it too perfectly. We have two trunks for the same tree. And I find that often happens with AI art, but overall, not bad. Most of them have just one trunk. Of course, as well, note the futurism of this car. So it definitely is futuristic. There's a slight artifact here in the tree though. And in this tree, now I look at it. So not quite perfect. I think this was my favorite image. Got the crescent here on top, really does match the style of Marrakesh. And again, the futurism. And this one's also incredible. Look through the rest. This one's great, that car is really well done. Obviously not incredibly sharp. It's more of an artwork than a photo for sure. Okay, of course you can generate a city of your own from scratch too. I picked out this selection of images here with a duck drinking some energy, not because Stable Diffusion did an amazing job, more for pointing out the issues that we have. And I'm not just talking about the duck with two heads that you can see. It's more to do with the verb that we have, the duck drinking. Now, if we look through these images, I'm not seeing a lot of drinking. 
this one it's more spitting and i'm seeing energy maybe but not no drinking it struggles with verbs i find okay this one's a great example it's a beautiful image here of a duckling and a cup it looks like an energy drink but the duck is not drinking and verbs are quite an issue i have found obviously this could well improve in the near future let's get to the next image this one is great a human chihuahua living in an extra dimensional reality where it is a god now let's point out how good this is but some of the challenges i find this is the best image of the lot because it's put on a pedestal almost godlike but one thing you might notice there's nothing humanoid about any of these chihuahuas that i can see i'll scroll back through them now but what about you but i can't see anything particularly humanoid so with animals it kind of has to be that animal i find rather than when you mix animals with another animal it starts to struggle two ears here for some reason anyway i think the images are incredibly beautiful but not quite true to the prompt here i'm pointing out how amazing it is but some of the slight challenges let's get to the next one on our list and this is almost full praise from me for this it's an intense portrait of Saul Goodman from the series Better Call Saul, the spin-off from Breaking Bad. And what I think is amazing is not only the beauty of some of the images, but some of them get pretty close to what he looks like. Maybe not that one, not so much this one. That's not bad. Look at the symmetry of the eyes. This is probably one of the best ones, the symmetry of the eyes. It can't always do that. Sometimes it gets it right, though. Not bad, really good. Now, this is off. Obviously, that doesn't really look like Saul Goodman. That's not bad. Not bad at all. What you will see in one of the images later on in this set is just how good it can be with enough reference images of recreating a public figure. But time for the next image. And this one, I just wanted to point one thing out. Talking about highly detailed armor here. Look at the divots, the knocks, the epaulets, arm guard, helmet. Absolutely incredible detail here of armor that literally doesn't exist. They've just created that from an AI algorithm. You can even see the chain mail underneath. Really, really good. Now, one thing to point out, look at the fingers. Some slight issues, and this is a recurring theme. Fingers really stable diffusion struggles with quite a lot who knows next year it might have solved it but for now it struggles a fair bit now what i might do here for this one is generate my own variant and see how this goes and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in golden just to see how it can handle that and what i've noticed here is the user has made it eagle themed armor which probably explains some of the feathered effects on the shoulder plates, etc. So that explains that. I hadn't noticed the eagle bit before. Look at some of the other prompts. High resolution, award winning. <laughs> I'm not sure if the AI improves its outputs based on the person saying award winning, but you never know. And I think the hyphen would have to be directly connecting the words. But anyway, look at that. And now it's golden. Wow, honestly, I don't know about you, I think I've improved it. Like, that looks great. Even the human looks pretty realistic. That's absolutely incredible. Okay, for some reason, there is some sort of blue smurf inside there, but look at the armor. Absolutely amazing. And this one, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And that shows how we can generate easily variants of this incredible art. Now on to number four. And this one I wanted to show you based on the number of prompts and how well it does. Look at this. A dripping, melting skeleton goddess dancing, cigarette packs floating around them. As we saw, it might struggle with verbs, but cans of beer, cans of tomato soup. I think it actually gets pretty close. Melting Minnie Mouse, South Park. Let's see here. We've got the cans, we've got a skeleton. 
And it seems like the more prompts AI goes to town, and you can see Minnie Mouse there, a lot of melting going on, not as many cans, but that thematic style of things melting and lots of cans being around with these central characters dancing has been kept true for most of them. Absolutely wild results here. Incredible prompts. A little problem here with the eyes. That's often a theme, but not as much here. This one I picked out because of how classical the theme was. Ancient Greek ruins. You can't get more classical than that for an artistic image. And let's see how it handled it. Here we seem to have a lot of rubbish around, but makes sense. Rusty cars. Let's quickly go back to the prompt. What did it say? Scrap cars, right. So that explains that. Overgrown, flowers, vines, trees. Hyper-realistic, well, didn't quite manage that, but so classical mixed in with this modern theme of scrapped cars. I think the user was going for a play on the traditional ruined artwork, but this time from the 21st century with ruined cars around. Really gorgeous. Where's the star image? Was it this one? Well, I think it was this one. This was the star image. Gorgeous arches and columns in the background. What would they be? Doric arches or Corinthian? I'm not sure. Gorgeous, even some light effects here. Okay, time for number two. And look at this one. We talked earlier about how faithfully it recreated Dwayne Johnson and Saul Goodman, but this just took it to another level. Look at this, Boris Johnson. That's incredibly good caricature of him. And let's look through the variants. A scary version. Staring into the camera. Slight asymmetry in the eyes, though. Now, notice this, the fact it has two heads, that's a common theme you'll see with stable diffusion. It almost can't quite decide how many of an object of a person to do. So often you end up with two. I have noticed that. Maybe almost half the time. That's great. Look at the tired eyes with a slight smile. Okay, it's not bad. It doesn't look as faithful to Boris Johnson. <laughs> that's a pure caricature. There's the two again. Look at that, look at that top image. Absolutely incredible. And let's look at some of the prompts. As a Family Guy character. Now, let's be honest, this isn't really in the style of Family Guy, which would be more cartoonish. But then the person has written realistic portraits, so kind of contradictory here. One thing you may have picked up is the constant repetition of users requesting Greg Rutkowski as an inspiration for the AI. Maybe that produces better results? Who knows? Either way, let's get on to our final image. And this one I picked out because it's so different to the others. An old photo from the 1920s of a haunted mental institution with disturbing patients and robotic doctors. Very detailed. Notice there's no hyperrealism or a particular artist to copy. But yet, look at the results here. Look at that, that is truly haunted. Look at the patients with no faces, it adds to the hauntingness, really. Because the image isn't perfect fidelity, people without heads, it makes it scarier. It makes it more full of horror. So AI generation is perfect for haunted images because you don't want things to be perfect. In fact, AI being able to generate these kind of images is already somewhat uncanny. So there's your fear factor. Look at these haunted images. Absolutely incredible. This person doesn't even have a body over here, or just about. Are these even humanoid? Absolutely crazy. And I don't know about you, but these are freaking me out. No faces. Amazing. Incredible job here by Stable Diffusion. So that's the website. That's how we generate variants. Here's the main menu where you can just scroll through images. You can also choose the number of columns to look at. So, for example, if you have a bigger screen, you might want to choose six columns. And therefore, you can look at so many images at the same time. And as we've seen before, you can just click on one and generate your own variants by going to generate.
I hope this gave you an insight into how great stable diffusion is, how scary its powers are, and how you can use it easily with this website, lexica.art. In this channel, I'm hoping to explore more of the cutting edge of AI. So if you found it in any way interesting, please do let me know in the comments. Have a wonderful day.